Are you, with the, are you with Mr. Detroit's party? No, is he here? I haven't seen him all night. Bring me a ride and soda. Scott, did you see Miss Attaway? Uh -huh. I bring a message for from Nathan. I wish Nathan would bring his own messages. What's the message? Where's Nathan? No, I saw it this way. It's um, Nathan's aunt in Pittsburgh was suddenly taken ill with the um, uh, a rare tropical disease. Yeah, it's not bad. Well, anyway, Nathan has to go and go. All nice. Far. What's the message? Where's Nathan? The crap game's still going on. Since last night. Big Joy being a large loser does not wish the game to terminate. In fact, he is most insistent. So we find another place, and the game goes on. Where's the game? Are you uh, looking for some action? No, nah, I'm leaving town tonight. Uh, but I would like to talk to some of the guys. You see, Nicely, I gave my marker to... Um, well, well, somebody. And I'd like to clean it up before I have. I'll meet you outside. What about Nathan's message? Miss Adelaide, um, Nathan is in Pittsburgh for the rare tropical ant. Goodbye. <laughs> what? I don't understand. Sky, Nathan has to be here tonight. We're all open to get married. Is it the crap game again? You know, Nathan, why does it surprise you? But he promised to change. Change? 
change? Why is it the minute you dolls get a guy that you like, you take him right in for alterations? What about you men? Why can't you just marry people like other people do? And live normal lives like people? Have a home with wallpaper for guests? No, Miss Adelaide. What do you mean, no? Guys like Nathan Detroit and, yeah, Sky Masterson, we don't belong in a life like that. So when dolls like you get mixed up with guys like us, it's no good. No good. I'll see you in a couple of months. Where are you going? I don't know. Las Vegas, maybe? I got a ticket on a late plane. Will you see Nathan before you go? I don't know, maybe. Well, tell him I never want to talk to him again. Have him call me here. <laughs> Look, why don't you just get yourself another guy? I, I can't. I love Nathan. Wait till you fall for somebody. You'll find out. Yeah. Not so fast. Look, suppose we don't have a big meeting tonight. Suppose nobody's name at all. We'll explain to the gentleman. We won't have to explain. It'll be very clear. No, I just want to go someplace where, where. Where the sinners are all respectable and well behaved. You saw what happened last night. They gambled in our mission. Someday they'll be praying here. Even a man like Sky Masters. He came seeking refuge. He came seeking me. Did you know that? Are you kidding? I knew the minute he started picking on you. But I didn't know you were going to get stuck on him. I'll get over it. What do you want to get over it for? It isn't pneumonia. Look, the man I love will not be a gambler. But if you love him enough... He will not be a gambler. Sarah, dear, I've always taken care of you. All I want is for you to be happy. <laughs> you for the color of your coat and fortune smiling all along your way but more I cannot wish you than to wish you find your love your own true love this day Mansions I can wish you, seven footmen all in red, and calling cards upon a silver tray. But more I cannot wish you than to wish you find your love, your own true love this day. Standing there, gazing at you, full of the bloom of you. Standing there, gazing at you, with the sheep's eye and the liquor. Music, I can wish you merry music while you're young, and wisdom when your hair has turned to gray. But more I cannot wish you than to wish you find your love, your room. sheep's eye and the licorice too and the strong arms to carry you
love that, Abernathy. I was the soul saving the night. Tonight, it's the big meeting, right? Well, it's supposed to be. The general will be there, and she's the a- general's a tough doll, eh? Well, very few people will be there. In fact, nobody. I don't think Mr. Masterson is interested in our troubles, Grandfather. We've Miss, got to hurry. Miss Sarah, you are forgetting something. But being a gambler, I never forget things like this. You hold my marker for 12 sinners tonight. Thank you, Mr. Masterson, but I'd rather you forgot about it. I cannot welch a marker. Mr. Masterson, last night the mission was filled with your friends. Let us say we're even. If you don't pay off that marker, I'll tell the whole town you're a dirty vulture. <laughs> Dicey, where's the captain? This guy's about a ten minutes more from you. Which way? This way. <laughs> Namely, 24 hours? I do not care who is tired. I mount 25 Gs, so nobody leaves. Gentlemen, I'm beginning to see the logic of Big Julie here. It is not that Big Julie is a big loser. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it is no. merely that he prefers to win. Ain't that right, Big Julie? Give me the dice. I'm shooting 500. Take 200. I'm half dead. You're not shut up. Big Julie raised the other half. All right, give me room, give me room. Ugh. Ooh, snake eyes, you lose. And, uh, and 50 for the house? But the dice are still yours. And knowing you, your luck is bound Shut to up. around. Another five. 200 more. And here comes that big lucky roll. Come on. No, snake eyes again. Tough luck, Big Julie. Well, that cleans me. Fine. But I ain't through yet. Uh, I will now play on credits. Well, Big Julie, the, fight, the, the guys didn't go to bed. But me personally, I'm fresh as a daisy. Then I will play you. Me? Yeah, you. You've been raking down out of every pie. You must have quite a bundle by now. Well, being that I assume some of the risk, it is only fair that I should assume some of the dough. Detroit, I'm going to roll you willy or nilly. And if I lose, I'll give you my marker. And if I lose, you will give him cash. Let me hear from Big Julie. You will give me cash. And now I heard. <laughs> Here's my marker. Put if you don't. Anything wrong? Oh, no, no, no. I owe you $1,000. Signed X. <laughs> How is it that you can write 1,000 but not your own signature? I was good in arithmetic, but I, uh, I stunk in English. <laughs> Here, this will be enough money to put you through Harvard. All right, I'm rolling 1,000. And to change my own luck, I will use my own dice. Your own dice? Yeah, they're made for specially for me in Chicago. 
Big Julie, you cannot interpolate Chicago Dice in a New York crap game. That is a breach of etiquette. Show me where it says that in Emily Post. I do not wish to seem petty, but do you mind if I look at these dice? Go ahead. Wait. Wait. Wait, what? These dice are blank. They ain't got no spots on them. Uh, I had the spots taken off for luck, but I remember where they formerly were. <laughs> You mean to tell me you're going to roll blank dice and call the spots by remembering where they formerly was? Why not? Oh, I see no reason. That's what I thought. All right, I'm shooting a thousand. Ah, uh, five out of five. My point is ten. Well, at least I still got a chance. Ten Z, come again Z. I hope he falls on his end. Hey. Yes, a ten. Uh, a ten? Uh, yeah, uh, a six and a four. Well, wait, 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 which one's the six and which one's the four? Either way. <laughs> All right, now I'm sh shooting 2,000. Get uh, up. Uh, I, I, I just remembered. I, I'm getting a look tonight. I've got to be at like the hot box. <laughs> Get up the 2,000. Well, wouldn't it be more fair if we let some of the other chaps in on the fun? No. Oh. After I'm through with you, 2,000. Fine. Seven, I win again. What a surprise. Detroit, I think I'll take it easy on you this time. What do you mean? I will roll you for one dollar. I'll take all of it. Would you look at that? Snake eyes, I lose. For this, I've got to bend over. Troy, I'll give you a chance. I'm gonna roll you for three G's. Three G's? I'm rolling you for three G's. Put it there. Wouldn't it be more convenient if I just put it into your pocket? Get up the three G's. Eleven. I win. That cleans me. I will now play with you guys. No. Hey, hey, whoa! You gotta give me a chance to get even. But this time with my dice. All right, Detroit, that's fair. But what are you gonna use for money? Uh, uh, I'll give you my marker. Can you expect Big Julie to put up cash? Nathan done it. Yeah, sure I done it. What kind of game is this anyway? Take it easy, Nathan. Him and his no spot dice. You know, I wish someone would knock the spots off of him. Hey. Don't make Big Julie have to do something to you. Yeah, I'm on my vacation. Go ahead. Shoot me. Put me in cement. At least then I would know where I am. Here I stick on my neck to put up this crap game. I even promised to get married on account of it. Believe me, my tough friends from Chicago, there is nothing that you can do that would not cheer me up. Here they are. Good evening, gentlemen. Ah, fresh blood. Uh, you looking for some action? No, I just want to talk to some of the guys. And yeah, we're not talking, we're shooting crap. It'll only take a minute. <coughs> we're shooting crap. It involves Miss Sarah Brown's mission. Say, who's this guy? It's the fellow I was telling you. He took the mission to all the Havana. Oh, I get it. Look here, fella. Why don't you go back to your praying tomato? Because you're slowing up the action around here. If you want action, you care to make a small wager on a proposition? It depends. What's the proposition? Am I right-handed or left-handed? Well, uh, how I know a thing like that? I'll give you a clue. Uh, could, could someone kindly return this to Sears robot? Look, you guys. Tonight at Miss Sarah Brown's mission at 409 West 49th Street, they're holding a midnight prayer meeting. And I promise to deliver to them some sinners. And when it comes to sinning, most of you are high up among the pink cards. I don't want to waste no evening in a hallelujah joint. If you won't do it as a favor to me, do it as a favor to yourselves. I guarantee you that air in that mission smells way cleaner than down here. And it might not hurt for some of you to learn something other than how to win a four the hard way. You've been reading the Bible too much. So what? Maybe you don't read as lively as the scratch sheet, but it is at least twice as accurate. Well, I tried. See you around, Nathan. Uh, okay, Sky. But but listen, uh, about the Havana business, I regret to inform you, I uh, temporarily do not have the cash to pay you back. You don't have to pay me. You won. What? I I I uh, I, I thought you took the dog. You thought wrong. All right.
Hi, Big Julie. Get up. I've now got the money to pay you, but now we're going to play with my dice. Nothing doing. But them dice, can I make a pass to save a soul? What did you say? I, I says with them dice, he cannot make a pass to save his soul. Well, maybe I can make a pass to save his. And yours. And, and yours and, and his. I'm going to roll the dice. And I'm going to bet each of you $1,000 against your soul. A thousand bucks against a marker for your soul. If I win, you show up at the prayer meeting tonight. Is that OK? OK, let me get this. If you lose, we each get a thousand bucks. And if you win, we all got to show up in the Mission Dolls Cabaret. If I win, you show up at the Save a Soul mission. One meeting. OK, by me. By me, too. <laughs> you too, Nathan? A thousand bucks against your soul? What, me? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not even sure I have a soul. <laughs> I mean, you got one somewhere. <sighs> How do you even spell soul? S O. All right, lay down your markers. Give me the dice. And give me room. Come on, quit stalling. Roll. You see me roll for a hundred G's, but I got a little more than dough riding on this one. They call you Lady Luck, but there is room for doubt. At times you have a very unladylike way of running out. You're on this date with me. The pickings have been lush. And yet before this evening is over, you might give me the brush. You might forget your manners. You might refuse to stay. And so the best that I can do is pray. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck, if you've ever been a lady to begin with, luck be a lady tonight. Luck, let a gentleman see how nice a dame you can be. I've seen the way you treated other guys you've been with. Luck, be a lady with me. A lady doesn't leave her escort. It isn't fair, it isn't nice. A lady doesn't wander all over the room and blow on some other guy's dice. So let's keep the party polite. Never get out of my sight. Stick with me, baby, I'm the fella you came in with. Luck be a lady. Luck be a lady. Gentlemen, see how nice a dame you can be. I've seen the way you treated other guys you've been with. Luck be a lady with me. A lady doesn't flirt with strangers. It isn't fair. She'd have a soul. A lady doesn't make love. The party so polite. The party polite. Never get out of my sight. Get out of my sight. Stick with me, stay baby. Here, baby. Stick stay here, baby. Luck be a lady. 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 What's the matter? Roll the dice.
I tell you, I don't want to go to no prayer meeting. Dick Julie, you gave your mockery, and if you welch on it, it will cause me no little embarrassment. I'm sure you don't want to embarrass me, do you? But if word ever gets back to Chicago that I went to a prayer meeting, no decent person will ever talk to me again. <laughs> Stupid Mark. Adelaide? Oh, what a coincidence. Uh, Adelaide, did I uh, nicely tell you about tonight? I hope you ain't sore about it. Please, let us not have a ball casino. After all, we are civilized people, and we do not have to conduct ourselves like a slob. Adelaide, what is this? You're my doll. Your doll? Please, if that weren't so amusing, one could laugh at it. Sweetheart, baby, you're getting yourself upset over one lousy elopement. Adelaide, please. It's no use. I have succeeded in your not being able to upset me no more. I've gotten you completely out of my... Honey, baby, don't ever do that to me again. It hurts me. We're going to get married. And we'll, we'll, we'll have a little house and, and, and a little green fence, just like the Whitney colors. We gotta do it soon. I got a letter from my mother the other day asking a lot of questions. Oh, and she put in a letter for you, too. A letter for me? From your mother? Well, uh, dear son Nathan, this is my first letter to you. Although you have now been married to my daughter for 12 years, but I feel like I know you from Adelaide's letters, and in my mind's eye, I can see you as you go down to work every morning at 7. What a responsibility it must be to be the assistant manager of an A&P. <laughs> I couldn't even be the manager? I was going to promote you for Christmas. <laughs> I know how hard you have to work to take care of your family. Adelaide and five children and the one that's on the way. The mother wanted me to visit her. I had to tell her that. I would have done it. I am very proud to have you as my son-in-law. You are a good man, and I know you will always take care of Adelaide. I feel like a heel. We can still make everything all right. It's not even midnight yet. Look, five minutes to twelve. Let's elope right now. Okay, Adelaide. Uh, ac actually, no. No, I can't. Why not? Oh, come on, Nathan. We'll be late. Come on. Well, I Nathan. gotta go to a prayer meeting. Nathan! That is the biggest lie you ever told me. But I swear to you, it's true. You promised me this, you promised me that, you promised me everything under the sun, and you give me a kiss, and you grab, and you hand me off to the races again when I think of the time gone by. And I think of the way I try. I can honestly die. Call a lawyer and sue me, sue me. What can you do to me? I love you. Give a holler and hate me, hate me. Go ahead, hate me. The I best love you. years of my life, I was a fool to give to no you. Already, I'm just a no good Nick. All right, already, it's true. So new, so sue me, sue me. What can you do me? I You gamble on everything, all I see me, and I'm sick of you keeping me up in the end, so you're back at the money again when I think of the time gone by. And I think of the way I try, I can honestly die. Serve a paper and sue me, sue me. What can you do me? I love you. Give a holler and hate me, hate me. Go ahead, hate me. When I you love you. Wind up in jail, don't go to me to bail you out. Oh, Daddy, so call the policeman. All right, already it's true. So new, so sue me, sue me. What? 
Sit down. Sit down, all of you. I would like to welcome you, gentlemen, to the Save a Soul mission. <laughs> Just a minute, you guys. This is a mission, not Rosalind. And I suggest you do not indulge yourselves in any unpleasantness. Since I am required to depart for points west tonight, I am appointing Nathan Detroit, Major Domo, in my place. Nathan, if anyone does not conduct themselves according to Hoyle, they ought to answer to Sky Masters in person. And that means in person. What a remarkable young man. So, uh, remember that, you guys. Brother Abernathy, your dice. <laughs> Gentlemen, we are honored tonight. The meeting will be conducted by the head of our organization, General Carwright. It is wonderful to see our mission graced by so many evil looking sinners. <laughs> now, who would like to testify? Who would like to start, start the ball rolling by giving testimony? Benny, give testimony. I ain't no stool pigeon. Come, brothers, I know it is difficult, but let one of you give testimony to the sin that is in his heart. Come on, Benny. Tell him what a bum you are. <laughs> Benny South Street. <laughs> well, uh, I was, I was always a bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> and a gambler. Yeah. But I ain't gonna do it no more. Yeah. <laughs> I thank you. There. Don't you feel better now? Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> oh. Big Julie. What? 